Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. I come to you um, reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 43. Reading from the Amplified Version. Isaiah 43 from verse... Um, from verse 1. Let's go. But now in spite of past judgments for Israel's sins, thus says the Lord, Jehovah is speaking to you now. He's speaking to you, he's speaking to me. He who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not. God is telling you, fear not. What are you passing through in life now? The maker himself is telling you, fear not. He says, for I have redeemed you, ransomed you by paying a price instead of leaving you captives. Here he's talking about looking into the future and speaking of it as if it is in the past. He has redeemed you. How did he redeem you? For the blood of the lamb, the spotless lamb, his son, Jesus Christ. Galatians 3.13, for Christ had redeemed us from the cause of the law. Christ had redeemed us. He says here, I have redeemed you, ransomed you by paying a price instead of leaving you captives. I have called you by your called you by your name. You are mine. So he has staked ownership of you. He has laid claim to you that you are his. He says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. In essence, no matter the trials or tribulations that you may be facing. He's telling you in no uncertain terms that he will be with you. He says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. So it, even if it looks as if it's about to overwhelm you, it's giving you guarantees that it will not overwhelm you. He says, when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned or scorched, nor will the flame kindle upon you. Those things that to the natural man, would destroy him. He's telling you that it will not leave a mark on you. It won't it won't harm you. He says, and he tells you the reason. He says, For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Your Savior. So Jehovah your Savior, Jehovah your salvation. Guess what Jesus means? Jehovah your Savior. I give I give Egypt to the Babylonians for your ransom. Ethiopia and Sheba, the province of Ethiopia, in exchange for your release. Because you are precious in my sight and honored, and because I love you, I will give men in return for you and peoples in exchange for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. That gives me comfort, consolation. I pray it also gives you comfort and consolation. There are times where pressures build. But if you fall back to his word, you'll be able to go through, knowing fully well that he's there for you, he's there with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He's given me assurances. I pray that this is also an assurance for you. When I woke up this morning and I was studying, this was what he laid on my heart he, he, he actually he got me to open direct to here because um certain things one was one uh, was doing pressures just built up but with this one can rest in his word that the one that promised is faithful he says that he has called me by my name he says when i pass through the waters i will be he will be with me and through the rivers, they will not overwhelm me. So no circumstance will overwhelm me. Personalize it for yourself that way too. It says, when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. So even though I'm, it appears I'm in scorching heat, it won't burn me, it won't harm me. It says, I won't be burned or scorched, nor will the flame kindle upon me. So my hairs will not be singed. I will come out of it without even the smell of smoke. That's assurance. Take that assurance too. The way I personalize it, personalize it for yourself too. 
bearing in mind that these two shall pass. These two shall pass. God bless you. Hallelujah.